Hello and welcome back to a quick EV John Adventures YouTube video. You join me here on a break from working outside taking care of our leaves here in autumn in Pennsylvania. Just wanted to check in on a quick reminder that our Teslas do require maintenance. This time of year, we want to make sure our tire pressure is at the recommended level. So for my 2024 Model Y, it is 42 PSI. So we want to make sure it's at that level. This time of year when it gets pretty cold, you'll notice your tire pressure dips lower. For me, I saw the other day, it was at 38. So time to pump it up. Let's take a quick look at my air compressor and I'll show you how to do it. Super easy and very important. Okay, here inside the 2024 Model Y, there's a couple of ways we can check our tire pressure and most Teslas have, I think the only ones that don't have this are the new Model 3 standard and Model Y standard, but all other Teslas, Model S, X, 3, Y, and Cybertruck should have the same way to check your tire pressure from inside the car. So what we're gonna do is here in the card where we have our music displayed, we can just swipe over once and we can see our odometer card and one more time and we can see our tire pressure so we see we have one already topped off because i've done that we have the other ones that are at 38 psi because we are getting into colder weather and while this was 42 over the summer here we are now in the autumn and it's 38 so time to go ahead and top these up um, if you have a model 3 standard or y standard you will be able to see if a tire is low um, but you won't be able to see what the tire pressure is. That's because these cars, the, 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 the premium Y and three, along with the SX and Cybertruck have sensors inside the wheel. They have wireless sensors with batteries that tell the car how much tire pressure is in the tire. That's pretty cool because you can know what your tire pressure is. And if something goes flat, you know exactly where the problem is. The new Model 3 standard and Model Y standard have a system actually quite a lot like that Volkswagen over there. And what they do is they use the, the ABS sensors and the wheel speed sensors, and they look at the circumference of the wheel as it spins while you drive. And if it varies to a certain degree, then it knows the wheel is going flat or it knows it's below the right pressure and it'll signal you to that. So. It is kind of annoying on there because you don't know what your pressure is. So I can't go and tell you what the Tiguan's pressure is, but I'll tell you what, it is a lot simpler setup. So that car requires no wheel sensors, no batteries, nothing to go wrong, nothing to break. It actually fits quite well within the Tesla ethos of the best part is no part. So I wouldn't be surprised to see more Teslas start using this um, because it is simpler and it is cheaper. Um, but anyway, enough on that. I wanted to show you how you can check it inside the car. And there's actually one more way. You can go here to your uh, serv to your uh, menu and you can go into service. So we'll do that right here. And we can see we have our car shown and we have the four wheels. And again, I already topped off that one off camera. So we'll go ahead and just do the others. Make sure we're all set for the cold weather coming ahead. So let's go outside and let's get them pumped up. Okay, you join me here on the front passenger side of the Model Y. Now, don't mind my dirty wheel. This is a very impromptu video. Uh, these wheels are lived in, right? So this is the stock, um, I think it's called the Gemini wheel. I took the wheel covers off. I threw a, uh, a cap, a center cap and, and lug nut cover kit on from Amazon. I'll throw a link into there uh, in the description in case anybody's interested in that. They've held up pretty well over several thousand miles. So I'm happy with that. Um, but what we're gonna do here is we're gonna just top this up. We know from inside the car, it's currently at 38 PSI, and I have my handy portable air compressor here and ready to go. So the first step is to just take the valve stem cover off, and it's conveniently right at the top here, and usually isn't. Uh, it's always at the bottom when you want to do this. Why is that? So here we go. We're just going to connect. Um, actually, before we connect it, let's just turn this on. This I just keep in my car. I actually haven't used it before today. I have a different one um, that my daughter is actually using today. So I had this instead. Now this is turned on. It's currently reading zero PSI because we're not plugged into anything and it's set for 43. What I noticed when I did actually the driver's side tires already off camera 
is that 43 on here equals 42 in the car. So there you go. Let's just do it at 43 then. Let's connect this. This is kind of stiff, so we'll do that. All right, we are connected. We're showing 38 and a half, 43. All I have to do is hit start the power button one more time. Let's do that. Fill her up. All right, I wasn't really counting, but it took a little over one minute. And we got this thing filled up from 38 and a half to 43 PSI. Now we just want to go ahead and pull this off quick so we don't let too much air out. All right, mission accomplished. And now we'll just put the valve stem cap back on. And this one is done. Rinse and repeat times four for all four cars. I'll just do the back one real quick and then I'll have all four done. You thought we were done, but we're not. Uh, I, I keep a spare tire in my Model Y, and if you have a spare tire in your car, don't forget to check it. Worst thing that you could do is be out on the road and get a flat and throw the spare on, and your spare is also flat. So we're gonna check it while we're here. Now, I happen to keep my spare right here under the floor, and what I'm gonna do is I'll make a separate video about how I set this up. But anyway, here it is, and we can see on the side of the tire, it says, inflate to 420 KPI, 60 PSI. And I set this up so our valve stem is conveniently right here. So let's go ahead, pop this off, pop this on, and let's see where we're at. Okay, it's saying we're at 55 and a half. So let's go ahead and set our point. Oh, so we have a problem that this particular air compressor won't go over 50 PSI. All right, scratch that, hold on. Let's get a different one and come back and finish the job. Okay, we're back with my trusty Ryobi air compressor. I threw a fresh battery on it and I turned it on. And what we'll do is we'll just set the set point up on this to, not to 60. Now the tire says inflate to 60, but we're actually gonna go a little higher because this is gonna go probably a while without being checked. So maybe we'll do like 63, 5% over, if you can see that. Um, let's hook it up. All right, now I hooked it up. All I have to do is hit the number two button to go ahead and power this side of the inflator. This is such a handy tire inflator. No cords, no nothing. But I'll show you when we're done why I got the red Craftsman one to keep in the car. All right, let's fill her up. Okay, so that made really quick work of it. And one thing I noticed with this thing is usually, as you not, might have seen in the um, filling of it here, that this actually will go a little bit above your target and then it always drops down just a hair. But 62 and a half is definitely more than 60. Definitely enough if we need this thing. So we're all set. Let's go and take a look in the car and see what we see on the screen. All right, back in the Model Y. Let's just check and see if we can see the new tire pressure on the card. And we cannot so how about that well, let's talk about that real quick don't be alarmed if you top off your tire pressure and this doesn't change the car actually has to move and drive for us to see this so somehow if we have the other two i did move the car just a little bit to get into better light so just that small movement must have been enough to pick up the tire pressure here these the car hasn't moved yet so we're still showing 39 38 but we know that these are topped off. That means we're good to go. All right, and before we sign off, I just wanted to do a quick hit on why this? Why did I buy this? So when I got the Model Y and, and I decided I wanted to use this as our main family car for family trips, road trips, I've taken this car from Philadelphia here all the way up to Portland, Maine, all the way out to Chattanooga, Tennessee, and everywhere in between, I wanted to make sure I had a spare tire on board. Now, I would have done that with any car. Uh, if I had bought a gas car and it didn't come with a spare, I would have made sure I got a spare. With that, I also wanted to make sure I had things like plug kits and a jack and a tire compressor. I chose this one for a specific reason. This is battery powered, so no cords going around the car. Um, but what if I don't charge the battery and this thing is dead when I need it? Of course, it comes with USB. I can charge it right here at the top 
on USB-C and it'll power itself up. But if I'm dead on the side of the road, do I wanna wait for this to charge up in order to use it? No, this one comes with a 12 volt cable and plug. And if you look at the bottom, you can power this air compressor directly from that 12 volt. So if I am neglectful and this thing is dead and I'm on the side of the road, all I have to do is plug into the 12 volt, which is right back here, and then I'm good to go. I can run this thing with this long cord to any of the tires. I can fill up my tires and I'm ready to go. Okay, so that was today's impromptu YouTube video. So hope you found it useful. Key reminder, be prepared on the road. Make sure your tires are at the right pressure for safety and efficiency, whether you have an EV, a hybrid or anything. Very, very important safety tip this fall as we head into winter. So thanks for hanging out. Thanks for staying on. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you again soon.